Voice cloning lets you record some audio or upload a recording that you've already made, depending on the software, and then the AI learns your voice and you can use that for text to speech in the future. So you just type in the words and then the audio comes out in your voice as though you spoke those words at that time. But is it really, really usable the way it is now? Let's do a test in Eleven Labs, which is one of the early popular apps that offered this technology. Also, Descript just announced that they've changed their voice cloning AI to be faster and easier and better. So we'll check that out and see how these two stack up against each other. So let's start first in Eleven Labs. You don't have the ability to clone on Eleven Labs free. You have to have at least the, uh, I think it's a $5 a month plan, which isn't, which isn't too bad. Uh, but we click on Voice Lab. And then we'll come down and click the plus sign and click on instant voice cloning. That's where we want. We'll give this thing a name, Bob, that's me. And we're going to upload some audio here. This is seven minutes of my voice talking on a podcast. Eleven Labs wants an audio file that's at least a minute long. They say that going over five minutes really doesn't help anything. So there's no need to upload like an hour's worth of audio or anything like that. And then we have to click this box down here that says that, you know, we have the rights to use this voice. Click on this little add voice button and it'll take it a second to, uh, well, more than a second to sort of come up with it. And you see there, it's got uh, the new Bob Me voice. Let's go over here into the speech synthesis section. And I'm just going to type out this little, this little line here. Let's get back to work and create something cool today. And we will hit generate and see what it comes up with. And now we have it there. We can play it right within this screen, right at the bottom. We can just click that play button. Let's get back to work and create something cool today. I mean, that's pretty decent. The beginning starts off a little bit fast, but let's try something a little bit longer. I've got a voiceover script for an interesting fact short video, so let's pop that in and see what it sounds like. Athletes performed naked in the ancient Olympics. They did this to achieve closeness with the gods and as a way of detoxing their skin through sweating. The word gymnastics comes from the ancient Greek words gymnasia, meaning athletic training or exercise, and gumnos, meaning naked. To me, it sounds like the word gaps are a bit long in some places, and it seems like, I don't know, almost like too many words are emphasized. But I think it's passable. You know, it's not bad. All right, let's go see what Descript has. Again, they just released uh, yesterday, they just announced this new AI speaker technology. In order to clone your voice into Descript the way it was done before, you had to record or upload something like 30 minutes of audio, and it would process on in the cloud, and usually within 24 hours it would be ready. What Descript is now saying is record this thing for a minute within another minute or two, we'll have your voice ready to go, which is very similar to what Eleven Labs has going on. And they say that the quality is much better than it used to be. So let's see what they've got now. So we're going to go into Descript, I'm going into AI speakers over on the left menu. Then I'm going to come click new speaker. I need to give it a name, Bob New because I already have my old uh, overdub voice. So what's it telling me here? All right, it wants me to read this script, which will give it authorization and train it all at the same time. So here we go. Make sure we have the right mic and record. I want the script to create artificial words and share jokes. Okay, stop. We can submit that and see what it does. Got a little spinny wheel down here that says we are authenticating. All right, there we, there we have it. The speaker is authorized and good to use. So let's go use it and see what it sounds like. There wasn't a, like an instant preview or anything, which is okay. So I'm just gonna type in here the same thing we did in Eleven Labs. Let's get back to work and create something cool today. And we'll say we're done right now. Oh, I have to add a speaker, I have to tell it who. So our new voice was Bob New, that's what we'll use. Now, the way it's pulsating there is telling you that it's adding the audio to that voice. And the way you know it's done is you'll see the waveform will appear down in the timeline. Oh, and there we are. So let's see what we've got. Let's get back to work and create something cool today. Hmm. It's something just feels a little off there. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I'd like to try this by uploading the same thing that I uploaded to Eleven Labs. 
But when I attempted to do that, I ran into a couple of problems. The first one was that Descript popped up and said, hey, this is over two minutes long. You can't do this. So I said, okay, well, let me go shorten this file down. So I went, I chopped up that recording, made it just under two minutes and attempted to resubmit it again. And it came back and said, the recording doesn't match the authorization. And at first I was confused. I'm like, wait a minute, that's definitely my voice. But then it occurred to me, I think what they're saying is the only thing that you can use here to train this thing is that script. The only file you can upload is if you've recorded yourself or your subject reading and recording that specific script that they give you. I wish I would have known that before I you know, tried uploading that other file and then tried cutting it down. And, you know, that was a pain. But hey, it is what it is, right? Let's see how the script sounds with the longer script, albeit not too long, just that little short voiceover clip that we used with 11 laps. Athletes performed naked in the ancient Olympics. They did this to achieve closeness with the gods and as a way of detoxing their skin through sweating. The word gymnastics comes from the ancient Greek words gymnasia, meaning athletic training or exercise, and gumnos, meaning naked. Maybe it's just me, but I'm hearing Ben Stein saying Bueller. Bueller. Uh, something's just missing. The gaps are a little bit too long and there just doesn't seem to be much flavor there. Now, I'm not trying to throw shade on either of these applications. Descript and 11 Labs, they both have many useful features. Descript does all kinds of cool stuff like editing video by editing text and that whole eye contact thing is incredible. And 11 Labs, you know, maybe it doesn't 100% hit the mark on the voice cloning, but you can definitely create some very realistic AI voices with 11 Labs at a very low price. I'm curious to hear what you think about it and uh, which one you would use, if at all, if you use voice cloning for anything. If this was helpful to you at all, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate it. I'll have links to both 11 Labs and Descript in the description here. If you want to check them out, try them out be my guest. I am an affiliate, so if you end up making a purchase from one of these, which you're not obligated to do, I may receive a small commission. Uh, and thank you.